You're looking at something so astonishing, it almost contradicts everyday conceptions of reality. It does the work of a room full of electrical circuits, yet it uses almost no energy. Its predecessor cost over a million dollars and took up hundreds of square feet, but it costs less than $10 and is smaller than your fingertip. It's called a chip. Hi, my name's Sam, and in April of 2018, I released details on how I made my first integrated circuit at home. I realized I never mentioned this on my YouTube channel, so here's a quick dive into making computer chips at home. The chips I've made are a simple differential amplifier containing six transistors on a five micron metal gate PMOS process, which is straight out of the early 1970s. It took me about two years to achieve this, but those specs can be improved on quite a lot. The FETs and diodes have really good characteristics, and I've wired it here as a ring oscillator in which three NOT gates are chained together to blink an LED. To do this at home, I've had to build and acquire quite a lot of specialized equipment. This is a home-built lithography stepper that projects images in ultraviolet onto the chip from a DLP projector to expose photoresist and pattern the various layers. With parts from eBay and donations, I was able to build a high vacuum chamber, which is for sputtering and thermal evaporation of metal layers onto the chip. I also picked up this electron microscope, which is not strictly necessary for making chips, but makes things a lot easier and was a lot of fun to learn about. This project was great because I got to learn so much about so many different fields. This is a plasma sputtering system in a vacuum chamber that I built, and a number of other plasma cleaning and plasma etching experiments as well. If you want to see more about this, check out my website and YouTube channel. I also had to deal with a number of hazardous chemicals like hydrofluoric acid, phosphoric acid, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, and a number of others. One of the steps involves a very high temperature furnace at about 1200 degrees C for dope. And the final step to put it all together is wire bonding, which I talked about in my last YouTube video. You can check that out. And that's it. Thanks for watching. My email is on my website, so if you want to share any thoughts or ask some questions, you can contact me there. Thanks.